So for today, we're going to be looking at Knucklehead Radar. This exotic got asked for in the Starfire Protocol video, specifically, can you do Knucklehead Radar and its ornament next? Unfortunately, it actually has two ornaments. One's really good and the other one's very uh, terrible. I'm going to do builds for both of them. Just know that the good one, I actually made like three because I really like that ornament and the base look and the other ornament, I just made one because eh, uh, whatever, uh, either way. Uh, if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe really does help because a huge portion of people that actually come to my channel are, are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, uh, like the video, share with your homies. If you actually like it enough to subscribe, I really appreciate you. But other than that, let's get into it. So Knucklehead Radar is an interesting choice because it would not have been my first choice. It is a very cool looking exotic. Even the default look looks really cool. I like that the hologram of the actual target is right there. I really do like that. Uh, shadering, it actually shaders pretty well considering there's a few pieces that I actually thought were not gonna shader well. But this is an old exotic. This is from Destiny 1. So saying that doesn't really make sense because in that in Destiny 1 it shadered well as well. So just to show you guys, uh, the main thing that you're going to have to focus around is the actual target in itself. It does not change color. You're going to have to stick with yellow, orange, white, even some red in there. Uh, you can also just ignore it, which is what I did for the example set. For the example set, I ended up choosing some really, really weird choices. Uh, I ended up going with the Nessus chess piece, the Escalation Protocol pants. And then from there, I used the interlaced grips for the arms and the Neoteric Kiat cloak for the cloak. So let me explain my thought process here because this is a little weird. First and foremost, uh, I combined the boots and the chest piece because they both have yellow that do not change color. And instead of fighting it, I just thought, why don't I just lean into it? Which is why I'm using the interlaced grips because with the iron to steel shader, it actually has yellow going down on the wiring. So. If you guys actually do look at it really closely, you guys will see that there's white, yellow, uh, there's a yellow glow in the wiring, which is why I used that. Uh, as for the base ornament, I think it's fine. It's just a little basic in my opinion, compared to the actual really cool exotic that I will showcase later. Uh, the Neoteric Kiat Cloak, the only reason I'm using that is because I really like how the fur makes the chest piece look a little bit bigger because it makes the profile a little bit bigger, obviously. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I didn't want to go anything too crazy with this one because the actual good ornaments and the actual good sets that I made are for the really good exotic or the ornament. Again, you guys will see what I'm talking about when you see the ornament because that ornament is just amazing. As for the next ornament or the first one, I was not even thinking about putting this one up because I highly doubt people actually have this. I would not be surprised if like less than 10% people have this ornament, but to be, you know, precise, I just decided I'm just going to have it there in case someone does have it. Uh, it is the predestination. This is the future war cult ornament. If you guys don't know back in destiny two, no, yeah, destiny, but no, when was it? It was in war mind. Actually in war mind, the factions actually had their own faction inspired ornaments. The Titans probably got the best one because they got the they got the Crest of Alpha Lupi uh, ornament, which looks really beautiful. I missed out on that one, unfortunately. But the other really good one, uh, the Warlocks ended up getting the Eye of the Un Eye of Another Tomorrow, specifically the Gaze Beyond Worlds. That one is an amazing ornament, and I feel bad for people who actually didn't pick it up because it's really good. Uh, as you guys can see, I went with Future War Call, which was a mistake because I should have gone with New Monarchy. I can explain my thought process later, but either way, this is the ornament. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of it just because it looks exactly like the Knucklehead Radar with just the bottom of the jaw does not change color. The Future War Call insignia doesn't change color and the targeting system is just a bit different color wise. Other than that, it's literally the same thing compare it to the Titans chest piece or even the helmet for the Warlocks, it all changes completely. Hopefully I have some pictures to show you. If not, I do apologize, but I should have pictures. Either way, for the look that I ended up going with, I wanted to go with 
originally I wanted to go with something black, just super all black, but I know people would have given me shit for that. So I, instead I went with a navy, a dark navy, which is why I'm using spectral indigo for the helmet. Uh, you will not be able to change that light blue on the chin or in the jawline. So I just might, I was just like, fuck it. I'm just going to ignore it. Uh, for the arm, chest piece, and cloak, I'm actually using Reefer Gallia because it actually gives that really cool uh, navy almost. I, I guess that's navy. I don't know. For me, it has a little bit more of a like a green tinge, I guess. And then for the boots, we're, we're using Horizon Beyond because that one gives off a really good uh, navy as well. Because if you use Reefer Gallia for the boots, you actually get a purple, which is not what I wanted to go for. So yeah, this is predestination. The only reason I put it up is because you might never know two people that watch this video might have this, but the one that everyone's probably going to be waiting for is the actual good one, which is nine days slash nights. This is legitimately one of my favorite ornaments in the game because it actually looks amazing. So I have a few sets for you. The first one is going to be leaning into the green tinge of the actual thing. Uh, the next one is going to be just a regular tactical look, which I've actually made a video on beforehand in the tactical video, but I didn't actually use the helmet for it. But if you guys want to see that video, I'll have it up right now. And the last one is actually a more bulky tactical look, which surprised me because I actually did, do like it. So hopefully I've been showing you guys how it actually looks and how it actually shaders. I think it shaders really well. Just be aware that the yellow wiring does not change color, unfortunately. But at the same time, I don't really mind it because it's just the green holographic targeting system is just so overbearing that you kind of forget that the yellow is there sometimes. Or you can just use a really dark shader to like mask it. The first example set that we're going to be looking at is the one where I lean into the glow. So as you guys can see for the cloak, we're actually using the psionic stalker cloak with Gambit Nephrite. I think this is the closest you'll ever get to the color on the actual uh, hologram for the helmet. It looks amazing. Just be aware that the Gambit uh, Nephrite, the on the actual cloak itself, you can see metal bars. Those metal bars are always going to be that color. And it's very unfortunate because it's very noticeable. Uh, for the other shaders we're using is the Iron to Steel. This is a really good shader if you want to do a really green look. My only thing is just be aware that the any armor plating in this armor is going to be really dark like iron so just be aware of that for the helmet we're using gamma nephrite because i just want to at least have something to match the green on the cloak and overall this is literally one of my favorite sets that i've made for this exotic just because it looks amazing but if i'm being honest with you guys i think my the one that's actually my favorite is the actual like the full out, full out tactical look. So again, for this one, I have actually made a video on this in my tactical video, which again, I can show you guys right now. But this one, you're going to be using the Diamond Born grips for the arms specifically because a it looks tactical. You can see um, an ammo band, but it's also to showcase a little bit more white for the chest piece. We're using the deep, deep Explorer vest one of my favorite chest piece in the game. Uh, for the boots, we're actually using the psionic stalker strides because this is this is very integral to this whole look. The psionic stalker strides paired with the wildwood cloak look really good because on the side of the cloak, you can actually see like wire mesh or whatever. I wanted to make that white. Well, that stays white for the cloak, but I wanted to make the, the boots white as well, specifically for that mesh as well. So that's why I really like it because I'm pairing those two well together. And as you guys can see, I'm using different shaders. Nothing really big. It's just I'm I'm dumb and I wanted to flex that. But this is definitely one of my favorite sets, if not my favorite sets for the knucklehead radar, just because it looks very tactical. But the first one is definitely aesthetically a lot more pleasing because I am matching the green glow of the targeting system. And then last but not least, we have this bulky big boy here. The reason I went for this was just to see if I could nothing, no other reason, just to see if I could. And I'm actually surprised at how much I like it for the arms. We're using the forbidden visage grips is one of my favorite arms in the game. 
For the chest piece, we're using the Diamond Sporn chest piece because it's a little bit bulky. For the pants, we're actually using the Seventh Serif Strides because again, bulky. And then for the cloak, we're actually using the Psionic Stalker cloak because I just ended up using this a lot. I pair the Psionic Stalker with this helmet a lot because it just pairs really well. I love that the camera on the top just adds to that tactical look. And the fact that you can turn off the Psionic Stalker's glow with certain shaders just makes it even better in my opinion. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I personally am a little bit more biased on the nine days slash nights ornament because it's literally the best looking one ever. But let me know what you guys think. I will say, I think the red one is the best tactical look, but I do like the green one aesthetically because it matches the green so perfectly. So uh, I will have the Lorelei Splendor helm for the next one because Titans, I have not forgotten about you guys, but that one's gonna be a little crazy because it has no ornaments, but I do have three sets, actually maybe four if I actually do another one. But Titans, let me know what you guys think about Lorelei Splendor. I will be making that video shortly. Hunters, did I do you guys justice? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys wanna follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. I think everyone who is commenting on what exotics they wanna see, I really appreciate it. It, not, it doesn't have to just be exotics. You can ask for certain armor pieces, certain themes, stuff like that. Like a SIVA theme I actually would do, and I actually can do because every class has a SIVA inspired something. So just to throw that out there. Be safe and I'll see you guys later.